One of the things that's helped me the most in life, especially as it pertains to entrepreneurship, is meditation. Because what meditation does for you is it allows you to become more calm over time. So you learn to respond instead of reacting. When I see people panicking over little shit all the time or flipping out or going crazy, oh, my flight's delayed or I'm in traffic or it's rainy, nah. <laughs> like fucking children. I'm like, oh yeah, this, these people don't meditate. Meanwhile, I'm like James Bond on vacation and I attribute that 100% to the meditation. The way that helps you in business is you're gonna have a lot of ups and downs. 80% of businesses fail. This is a risky game. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on you. You're gonna make a lot of decisions, high stakes decisions, especially once you get employees, 30 people's lives are affected by decisions I make. For me, meditation tells me stay calm and cool and I can respond instead of react. Your ability to manage stress will determine how much you accomplish in life. Make no mistake, when I see people flipping out over little shit or spazzing out in the car, I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah, there's no way this guy can run a fucking seven figure business. <laughs> like there's no fucking way. If this little shit right here is causing him to panic, there's fucking no way he can like make the kind of decisions I have to make every day. Like the guy who's fucking spazzing out and panicking all the time is a fucking spaz, is a weirdo, man. Don't nobody want to be around that guy. Women aren't attracted to the guy who's like, can't control his temper, can't control his fucking emotions. You wanna be steady. Like James Bond on vacation or me. And if you read the homie Ray Dalio's, not this book, but his other book <laughs> called Principles, he says that it's one of the most important things he's ever done in his life. It's one of the biggest reasons he's been able to build the largest hedge fund in human history and become one of the richest men in the world. He says over and over again, there's no way he would have done it if he didn't meditate. So how do I do it? Well, I read a book a while ago called Stress Less, Accomplish More. And I think it's the best book on meditation. I actually have a video with the author, Emily Fletcher, who became kind of my meditation mentor. I had meditated for 10 years before I read that book. But once I read it, I feel like I understood it better. I never seen someone explain it as well as she can. And I feel like my meditation practice improved. Now. Your results may vary because I was introduced to that book by a girl and this girl is bad shit crazy. Like she's insane. So either it didn't work for her or she was just way fucking crazier before. I don't know, but it worked really well for me. And it's, it's got like five star reviews on Amazon. Stress less, accomplish more. The main thing I do is I just focus on my breath for 20 minutes and if my mind wanders i bring it back to my breath and the way emily explains it is more complex than that but that's the simplest way to do it i do that for 20 minutes i sit still i don't use no apps you don't need that shit. it might help a lot of you because your attention spans are trash so it might help you to have headspace or calm and i feel like that's a good entry point but I can just meditate with nothing. A lot of times I'll just listen to white noise. But if I don't have that, that's cool too. I can meditate with no headphones. I've done it in Ubers with like music playing and stuff. I'm more focused than you are. Check out that video I have with Emily. In that video is also Ben Bukowski, one of the top bodybuilders of all time, uh, explains how meditation actually helps you build muscle. And then I also in that video, one of my mentors, Matt Gallant, he runs a eight figure business. And he talks about how meditation helps him in business too. He's the calmest motherfucker I ever met. He's meditated way longer than me. So you want to check that out.